Hello everyone, um, today I'm bringing you a player preps tutorial, um, a bit like the last one but this time we're going to be saving the player's position. So let's get started with that. Um, first thing you want to do is create the main script, I'm just going to call this core for now. And I'm also going to create a plane, just as a, a floor that we can look at. Double click on the plane to go it. Alright, so what I want to do as well is I want to allow the camera to face towards that. Okay. Then I'm going to just aim it down like that. Okay, I'm also going to add a uh, directional light. A bit, okay. And I'm also going to add my cube. The cube is going to be the thing which is actually going to move around. Like that. Maybe move it up a bit. Okay. So I'm going to add the core to the cube. And uh, I'm going to open up the core. So what I want to do actually is I want to get it to move from minus four to you know let's let's just do to zero and then um save that position well actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it move plus one every time we reload the application okay so first of all we gotta create our save function I'm only you don't have to do this you could put it Whenever, wherever, but I like to do it like this. So I'm going to say player crafts dot um, hmm. Let's see what can we do? Set float. We'll just do y, and then here we're going to do transform dot position uh, dot x. And sorry, this is going to be X. Copy that. And do Y and Z. Okay. And we also want our load function. Pretty much the same thing. So here, down here, we're setting. So we're creating it if it doesn't exist. Or if it does exist, we're just overriding it we're changing it here we're gonna do get float and you don't have to have this bit you just need the key so X is the key and this is the the keys value so because we're getting the value we also have to assign it to a um, to something or else it's kinda useless position uh we're gonna do we're gonna do uh position uh actually no transform dot position equals we don't need this equals new vector three that for x Y and end it off like that. So I'm just gonna bring this into one line. So now we're saying our transforms position equals um, a vector three player prefs dot the x value, the y value, and the z value. So now we're start function. We're gonna load, but we also want to check if we have these you know these values exist so I'm gonna do you just have to get one so if the player prefs get low get float X is not equal to null that means we've got it it exists then we do that now also I'm gonna change the update to on GUI and I'm also going to 
before I do the GY, I just want to do transform dot. Position dot. I think it is. It's X. It's definitely X. Okay, position dot X plus one. Now this might give me an error because yeah, it keeps giving you this store as a temporary thing. So we're going to have to create a vector. New vector three. Transform dot position dot x and then just do that over again. That's gonna be z and that's gonna be y. And I'm sorry, we want this down here. Okay, check for errors. This error here. Well, that's weird. Be transform up position get float X. All right. Okay, so I'm going to play. So it moves over. And, uh, what is going in? We're not saving it, okay. Alright, this should work now. So it moves over there. It moves over a bit more. And then that's basically your saving and your loading. Just like that. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's very basic and short, but um, hopefully you, you can take this away and put it into your own games. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, thank you. Bye.